This is Pete, or Kench1913, along with... Mom. And this is another Cooking with Kench1913. What are we going to be making today? Aioli. We're going to be making rosemary aioli. So what are we going to be using today? We're going to be using uh, rosemary, but you can kind of use whatever the hell you want. We've got a clove of garlic. We've got some salt and egg. We're going to be using the egg yolk. We're going to be using two tablespoons of lemon juice or whatever lemon you have and then a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil so we're going the aioli is kind of like a mayonnaise and we're um it's a really good mayonnaise or really good uh sauce that you can kind of put on anything it's it's friggin delicious so let's get started all right so the first thing you gotta do is get a clove of garlic i like to use a couple because what we need here i don't know if i mentioned this is we need a big knife. You don't really need a big knife, but you can use it. This is a whisk. You need a whisk. You need a mortar and ped pedestal. What is it, what's it called, Ma? Mortar and pedal. And mortar, mortar and pedestal. And anyway, so what you have to do first. If you don't have a mortar and pedestal, you can just use a bowl and you'd have to um, crush up the garlic really. Um, yeah. To almost like a puree. So what I like to do first is I like to smash the garlic because you got the skin on there and you want to peel the skin off and uh, I might need another crush here nope there we go so you see you got this then we're gonna put it in in here I'm gonna use maybe two cloves I mean you, you could use one but whatever so we smash out another one and aioli is really really good I didn't know about aioli till maybe I think it was like two, three years ago. My buddy Rob, he went to uh, <clears throat> he went to Boston to uh, to uh, do a Jeopardy thing, and and, um, and we ate at like this place. It was called Five Napkin Burgers, and they made an aioli, and it was delicious. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a little bit, take a little bit of salt, hmm? take a little bit of salt, and we're just gonna crush it in there. Cause now what now what we gotta do. Yeah, don't mind it. Uh, 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 Stella's we here. We have Stella here. So what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to crush at it. And what the salt does is the salt actually helps break it, uh, down. Break it down. So what you got to do is just kind of beat on it until, it until it's at like a little paste. And what I'm going to do is just do that off screen. So you got to just keep banging it and then when it gets to the sides you got to kind of uh, smooth it out. I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Okay, so as you can see, I've smashed up the garlic here. This is what it's going to look like. You got like a little garlic paste. This only took a few moments, uh, like a minute or two. You just got to smash it up. Like my mom said, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have the mortar and pedestal, you can use, uh, you can use uh, a knife or a food processor, whatever you want to use. But you got to make sure that you get it smashed like that. So let's, uh, now we're going to work on the second part of the aioli. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, the garlic uh, mush that we have here and I'm going to put it in my little bowl that I have because what we want to do is now we're going to add our egg and our lemon juice so the first thing we want to do is add two tablespoons of lemon juice to this and you can use fresh lemon if you got it so this is about a tablespoon so we got one, we got two-ish. Anyways, uh, so yeah, like I said, I discovered aioli when I was with my buddy Rob. We went up to Boston and uh, we had to, uh, he was going for a Jeopardy thing and we were walking around Boston and there was this place called Five Napkins, uh, <clears throat> Five Napkins Burgers that had a rosemary aioli that was delicious. So what we want to do here is we just want the yellow part. So we just want the yolk here. So we just get this thing by itself. We'll be good. I, I think I got pretty much. It's not a good egg to be using, but you're doing good. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, yeah, my mom's handling the, um, the camera on, work. I'm on the other end today. Yeah. So uh, 
Now you got this together, what you want to do is you're going to whisk this until it's a nice pale yellow. So I'm just going to show you, you got to whisk, whisk, whisk until it's a nice pale yellow because you're adding, when you're whisking things, it's basically adding air to it. Can you see how, uh, mm -hmm. how everything's incorporating? Because you got to emulsify everything. And that's what we're going to be doing with the olive oil. So, yeah, I, I really like aioli. It's very versatile. You can put it on, uh, you can kind of put it on anything. You can put it on chicken. You can put it on, uh, you can put it on burgers. You can put it on uh, vegetables for a dip. You could use it for a lot of different things. Like, uh, some people use mayonnaise. Uh, and they put it on their toast to like make it crispy when you're making a sandwich or something. Like a panini, you can do that with the aioli. It's really, really good with turkey. So yeah, you just gotta keep mixing it until, until it gets to a uh, pale yellow. And you know what, we'll do, I'll just keep doing that and show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty pale. So now what we wanna do is we wanna add our olive oil, half a cup but only a little bit at a time, like that much. Yeah, you're gonna keep drizzling. Yeah, because you don't wanna add the whole thing in, otherwise you're screwed. Anyways, I'm just gonna mix it together until it like, comes together. You can kinda tell when you're doing it, when it comes together. So, with the, um, <clears throat> like I was saying, it's pretty versatile. You don't have to use rosemary if you don't wanna. You could just use this if, if you want. I like to put rosemary because rosemary is the first one that I had, so that's what I usually put. And uh, you can use thyme, you can use pepper, uh, like red pepper, you can put anything. And I'll, I'll show you when you gotta put in your herbs. But yeah, just gotta keep mixing it. And as you can see, it's gonna get more and more paler, and it's gonna look really nice when it's all done. So you just gotta keep mixing and mixing. Until you get every, you feel like everything's in there, then you just add a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. As you can see, everything's really emulsifying. I think that's the right word. I'm not a chemistry guy, but yeah, you just gotta keep mixing it, and then uh, I'll show you when we put in the, the herbs. All right, so here's what our aioli should look like after you um, get all the uh, all the olive oil in. Pretty pale. It's a little. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It, it, it's it's a, supposed it's to be like a, a pale lemon, yellow. It's a lemon yellow almost. Yeah. So what you want to do? We're using rosemary, as you can see, Fre freshest rosemary. Anyways, what you want to do to really get out the oils, you, any of the herbs you're using, even if they're dried, you just want to rub them between your fingers and then break them up, and that'll really help bring out the flavors. So yeah, you could use rosemary, like like I was saying. You can use thyme, you can use, uh, what else were you saying, marjoram, crushed, marjoram. crushed red pepper. Mm -hmm. You can really make it whatever the hell you want. And like I said, eh, you can use uh, whatever the hell you want. Anyways, now this is at the end, like I said, after you've done all the olive oil. And you just want to mix it in. And if you want, you can taste it and see what and see what if, it, if it's good enough for you, like uh, if everything is melted. If not, you can always add like a little more olive oil. If you need to put a dash of salt, you can do that. Anyways, yeah. So this is pretty much it. Now the thing about storing this is you can store it in the fridge. It probably lasts maybe two weeks. Hopefully you won't need to keep it in there that long because it is so delicious. I'm just adding a little more. And uh, yeah, you just want to throw it in your fridge. Keep it for about two weeks. But again, like I said, you can put it on meat, you can put it on beef, you can put it on chicken, you can put it on pork. It's really good with turkey. You can dip your vegetables in it. So yeah, we're done here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to eat it. Or at least put it on something and eat it. Alright, so here's our aioli. As you can see, it's delicious probably. Depending on how you like it. So I just put it on some chicken cutlets because that's what we got. Although, like I said, it's good with burgers and all that. It's absolutely delicious on mm. your burger bun. Mmm. It's good with chicken, chicken cutlets. It's yummy. It ups that flavor for sure. This was Pete's um, creation. Um, yeah. He made it, as he said, after having it um, at a burger 
uh, place. In Boston. Anyways, it's been delicious. You got lemon, you can get garlic, and you get rosemary. And those three flavors are truly delicious. So this has been Pete or Kenshin 1913. Along with Mom. And this has been another Cooking with Kenshin 1913. Enjoy and happy eating.